Hey guys, it's Brad Fitzpatrick here with another brand new game. Well, new to you, new to me, but it's been out for just a little while. The game is called Crossing Souls. It is a retro type RPG, action RPG. Um, this story takes place in a small town in California, right at the beginning of 1986. I was four years old. <clears throat> Obviously heavy 80s influenced. Hand-drawn cutscenes. There is no Dana, only Zool. Oh, I like the aesthetic already. Kevin, cr cr Chris. Shh, shh, shh. Obviously, I have a walkie-talkie. Fiz it, wake up! Come on. Ugh. What the hell, Kevin? What have you been up to? You're not going to believe this, Chris. It's amazing. Cut it out. Mom will be mad if you're not back for breakfast. Listen, get the gang together in the treehouse. I have something incredible to show you. This is one of your stupid jokes. You better get ready, squirt. It's not. It's t This time, it's important, man. Honest. And stop calling me squirt. I'm nearly ten. All right, all right. Wait for me there while I pick up Matt, Big Joe, and Charlie. Hurry, I think it's starting to rot. It smells awful, man. What? Oh, right now. Why does he always have to get himself into trouble? What a way to start the summer. Ugh. Well, all right. And achievement summer begins. All right, so I got a jump button. What's going on here? Oh, I can observe. A gulp, gulp. Everyone in the gang has a walkie-talkie. Matt tweaked them so he could use them over several miles. <clears throat> Last night, Kevin and I were finally about to get past Boy Icarus, but the storm ruined the game. We're not supposed to be playing that late, so we didn't say anything and pretended we were asleep. It's not working. The storm has cut out lo lo loads of electrical devices. I'm gonna open the door. Wait, what is my dad up to in the yard? I should go see what's going on. He's usually busy with his flowers, not standing there for no reason. Oh, 15 men on a dead man's chest. Yo ho ho. And a bottle of rum. That is correct. Alright, this must be like a dad's office area? Yeah. To Williams Brothers. Uh, blah, 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 blah. My grandpa Stephen was a war hero. They gave him so many medals that my dad had to buy this stand to hang them all. My dad was a world-class batter until he was injured at a fancy dress party. It's not easy being Tarzan for the day. That's awkward. Uh -huh, I can actually interact with the toilet. I don't feel like doing that now. <laughs> oh, a load of contemporary history exams corrected by my dad. All failed. My mom is finishing up on her first book, The Walking Castle. It's about a castle with legs that is owned by a strange young magician. Aw, it's a happy family. What are those like? Alright, let's, I guess, go ahead and head downstairs. There's obviously a lot of things to interact with. Which is nice. We, we do have a stamina bar, it looks like. Let's see what happens when we use up all our stamina. 
Oh, okay. Good morning, son. It seems your brother has escaped to the window again to mess around. He's a lost cause. Don't worry, Mom. I'll bring him back safe and sound. You two will be the death of me for one of these days. Anyway, your father has been waiting for you in the garden all morning. He's pretty excited, I think. He has a gift for you. For me? Awesome. Let's see what it is. Best friends. Chris, 1980. Hey, Dad. There's my little guy. So, looking forward to your vacation? Yeah, Dad. I'm meeting up with the guys and Kevin. Kevin? Has your brother snuck out again? I didn't see even see him leave. Since Sparky died, he's brought nothing but trouble to this family. Anyway, what are your plans for today? Uh, you know, just the usual stuff. <laughs> A little baseball, nothing out of the ordinary. Did you need anything else, Dad? You see, Chris, when I was your age, your grandpa made this baseball bat for me just before he left for the war. I know there are better family heirlooms, but this bat is special. I scored some of the best home runs of my youth with it, and it's time for it to keep making history in your hands. Ba -na -na -na. Chris Williams. This guy is agile, quick, and brave like no other. Using his baseball bat and climbing skills, there's no challenge too big for him. Wow, it's amazing. Thanks, Dad. Let me show you a few tricks at school. A few tricks. <laughs> At school, I was the best batter in my class. Head over to the batter's mound. Once you're there, we'll start the lesson. Just a few quick pitches to practice that swing. All right, all right. Let's see what we have here. If you hit the X at the right time, you can knock back projectiles by holding LT. You'll anchor your character, and you'll be able to knock back projectiles in the selected direction with more precision. Oh. Bam. Great, son. I see you inherited the Williams family genes. Now go. Enjoy this summer. Oh, and do me a favor. Take care of your brother. Please. Try to keep him away from trouble. Okay, Dad. Man. Alright, so yeah. Very action RPG-esque. Um, I need to find my brother, Chris. Sparky died. It's, I mean, it was our old dog Sparky's house. As soon as we got home from school, we ran into the garden and threw this ball at, as high as we could until he jumped over our heads. It was amazing. Kevin would take him everywhere he went. They were two peas in a pod, but one day, Sparky disappeared. They found him dead. Some idiot had run him over. Come on, son, we all love Sparky, but life goes on. We'll buy another dog at Christmas. Your brother will love him. Dad, Kevin doesn't want another dog. He wants Sparky back. We're not miracle workers, son. I know. I guess not. You cannot jump and attack at the same time. And it looks like unless something is to know... Oh! Please don't be mad, Dad. You're already leaving? Wait up! Hey, I can't find your brother. I think he snuck out again. Uh, maybe. So, do you have any idea where that brother of yours has gotten into? Yeah, he's at the treehouse. Can we go get the other guys and head over there? You know I don't like you guys going into the woods. Oh well, never mind. Go and find your brother before he gets in any trouble. Don't worry, he's probably just throwing stones at some poor animal, or setting off firecrackers in some, in some shit somewhere. Watch your mouth, young man. You don't want to start your vacation grounded, do you? Pfft, no. Okay, I'm going. See you later. Okay, but be careful. And don't even think about taking the shortcut. I've got a bad feeling about that old hermit. I'm sure he smokes hippie grass. Hippie grass. <clears throat> okay, Mom, I'm out of here. See you later. Alright, let's see what we're doing. Oh, don't forget to save your progress. If you come across one of these floppy disks, don't think twice and save your game. Save. Yes. All right. What happened here? Last night's lightning storm created a lot of problems around town. We are still assessing the damage. All right. McGibbons repair. Oh, I can sneak into somebody's house, garage. 
Um, they're here. The TV people. Yeah, of course I didn't know why, but I feel like something strange is going on here. I'll call someone tomorrow. Who are you going to call? I looked in the yellow pages. There are furniture moving companies, but no listing of strange phenomenon. Oh, I see. This uh, really uh, weird... Uh... Alright. So these people are having some pretty strange phenomenon happen. What's going on in this house? For the storm, and the girls start saying weird stuff, and now the furniture is moving. Alright. Can I? Boop. Wow, this canary looks like it suffered a pretty bad heart attack. Nope, I can't break anything into existence. Alright. Um, oh. Hey, buddy. Or girl, Leticia. Alright, I have no... Okay, there it is. Okay. That's my inventory. My collections. My diary. And my profile for mom and dad. And there are other people here. Um, let's see. But where is the treehouse? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I want to try to find this shortcut. Because as of as it stands, that might be the only way to get to where I need to go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Beware of goat. <laughs> hey, yeah. Most goats are kind of crazy. Can I go destroy? Alright, but what are you? You're like glowing or something. Uh oh! <clears throat> Somebody made a laser! Oh no, help! What the heck is that? Just in time, the energy emitter is damaged. I can't stop shooting gamma rays. Destroy the three generators before it destroys the neighborhood. On it, buddy. Boom. Done. Oh, Matt. That was close. A minute longer, the neighborhood would have been burnt to a crisp. Wait, what's this new gadget of yours? It's a gamma booster. A new component I'm working on, but I've just used my last gamma bars. At least I've still got my laser gun. Cool. It might come in handy because we need to get to the treehouse right away, Matt. Kevin has been on one of his investigations again. This time it seems important. Hmm. Okay, it'll be a good way to try out my laser gun. Yeah, but now you're coming with me. Okay, that was weird. Little genius, his laser gun, jetpack, and intellect make him a unique specimen both inside and outside the group. Ah. Oh, remember that you can always change the character by pressing the LB button. Oh, oh, and he actually shoots. All right, let's see what's in around his house. Uh oh, that's his dad. Awesome, Joshua. Matthew, why didn't you stop making those silly toys and invent something that's actually useful? Your inventions just don't live up to the Bayer name. But Dad, gamma rays, gamma rays. Reading comics is bringing your IQ down. It. At your age, I've already taken my first steps on our planet. Alright. Don't be so hard on him, Joshua. The boy has to discover new fields and something applicable to biology wouldn't be so terrible. But Heather, don't mislead the boy. What Matt needs to study is robotics. That's the future. Don't worry, Mom. Someday I'll make something you'll both be proud of. Of course you will. Go out and have fun for the rest of the day. The air quality is exquisite today. You spoil him too much, Heather, and he won't ever become anyone. Jeez, Dad. You know what I think of that, 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 Dad? This mode emits a high frequency synthesidal electrical signal and bandwidth frequency and phase have been modified. Basically, it allows my computers to communicate with one another. Here's where I store my chemical materials at sub-zero temperatures. Nobody can open it without my authorization. Alright. Aha! Tesla! 
Good choice, my man. All right. Well, I mean, what are you? Huh. AI is really kind of the way forward. Oh, cool. He has like jetpack stuff. All right. I guess I probably need to go to the other houses and try to find my friends. Map. All right. Neighborhood. Main square, lobby, school, cemetery, caravan park, suburbs. I am here. Oh, I see. So, the shortcut is to the left area, it looks like. Which is why they've got this area cornered off. Alright. Oh, man. I've got like a frog in my throat. Let's go. To the shortcut. Ooh. Chris is able to climb certain services. Press B once to hold on to climbing service. Press A to jump. Oh. Oh. Chris can leap from one climbing surface to another. While climbing, press A to jump to the next surface. Press B again to hold on to it. Do, 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 do. Now we're playing some Tomb Raider stuff. An impossible leap? That'll be no problem for Matt. Hold down the A button to glide with him. Right. Hey, and here's the hermit. It's nice out today, right? Nothing could ruin it for me. Are you sure? Are you sure? Um, these radioactive pumpkins say a different story. Uh, because he's growing radioactive pumpkins that are pulsating? That could be the reason why you should go into his house. I don't think you need a warrant for that now. Oh, oh, oh. If you press X, you'll be able to shoot with Matt. By holding LT, you'll anchor your character and you'll be able to shoot in a selected Still, you know, a little bit of melee is better than, you know, everything. Matt has an automatic radar. Press LT once to activate it. While active, it will automatically target the target the closest to objective. To deactivate the radar, press LT again. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I like it. Oh. Get anything? Rats always hold something. I mean, usually when you when you break stuff anyway, it would you know open it up. But uh, high voltage. Man, I don't know what to do with this thingy. These electrical switches are activated by receiving a good discharge of electricity. I could try shooting it with my laser gun. Well, hey, kitty. All right, looks like we have, um, what, three more friends that we have to go find? <clears throat> Whoa. Wow, this morning storm has destroyed the town. Even the police are working today. Of course, it was one hell of a storm. Chris, how do you think I managed to charge my ray? With everything that has gone on, you could have made yourself your very own Frankenstein. Okay, let's go look for Big Joe. He must be at home uptown behind the main square. Big Joe. I 
like Big Joe. I like that name. That'd be who I would be. I'm Big Joe. Hey, buddy. Not now, kids. I'm trying to fix the storm, screw up the lights, and I have to find the issue if I want to open Invaders Arcade today. I can help you if you want. Nah, I got this covered. It's pretty easy. I just have to join the blue and red cables, and then I have to cut the grounding and paste it to the box. No way. Wouldn't that cause a short circuit? Are you sure you got this? For sure, of course. Anyway, if you want, it's not like I'm asking for your help or anything. But if you want, you can go to the meter room. Maybe you'll see something weird. I'm not saying I have no idea. It's just I haven't been there yet. Yeah, that's it. All hands on deck. All right. Okay, I get it. I'll go check the meter room. Let's go check the meter room. Ooh -hoo. Window Breaker Boy, you've received a new video game. Check the collections in your inventory and find out more. All right, boom. Boom, okay. All right, got it up and running. That should do the trick. All I needed was a little extra juice. Let's see if it works now. Hey, Wyatt, I think we fixed it. We? What are you talking about? I did all, the, all of it, it all myself. Wyatt always has everything under control. But we did it. I'm so good, not, <laughs> so good, not even I can believe it, honestly. My mom used to say, Wyatt, you're a genius. Yep, if only my mom had supported me. <laughs> are you deaf or something? We fixed it, man. I'm the king of electronics. Someday I'll be an IT wizard. Yep, I'm gonna go far. It's useless. He's out of it. He must be high. We should make the most of it and help ourselves to the tip jar. Hey, 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 don't even think about it. Leave your spare change in the jar or I won't let you go too far. Later's Wyatt. Nobody really knows what it's made of. Some people think it has kerosene and maybe even battery acid in it, but it's just so good. Croak. Oh, I can actually play this game. Gods will be watching. Probably the hardest game in the Invaders arcade. Yes, it is. If you've never played the Gods will be watching, it is difficult. I don't even want to think about how much money White has made on this machine. Not enough. Ah, they say that if you press up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, the main character's changed into four French guys. Aching for blood. Cool. The Nami code always has a surprise in store. It looks like it's supposed to be Mother Russia Bleeds, which is also a very good game. Well, alright. Uh, I actually got, what is that, a collection here? Window Breaker Boy. Can I not? I can't play it, though, can I? Womp, womp. Okay. Oh, hey, there's a save. Yes. Last night's storm is hot news. Uh-oh. Drunk guy. The end is near. They are coming. Oh, pray to the Lord because they are coming. Who's coming? Them's. The ones from above that fly on saucers, they're coming for the whiskey. They want to invade us so they can drink our whiskey. We have to stop them. Right. I see. And how are we going to do that? Don't worry, kids. I'll save you. I'll drink all the whiskey. I'll save humanity by sacrificing myself. I won't leave a single drop of whiskey. You'll see. I see. Dude. Dude's got hot dogs. Hot dogs, all types of hot dogs. Well, they're all pork, but you got kids don't care. You cover everything mustard and ketchup anyway. I don't. Ooh. Sauces are just sauces. Ooh, look. It's the guy from Big. Okay, I'm going to make a wish. Your wish will be granted. Excellent. This must be the music theater. Dude, break dance. The Bistie Boys are rad. That's pretty awesome. I wish you had like a, an actual... Oh, oh wow, I didn't realize that. Uh... Alright. There was a roll function. Blueberry Comic Book Store. What is this? 
You get out of here, scat. Gary's Comic Store is like a black hole for our money. I've already spent my weekly allowance here. Let's go in and see if maybe he needs some help, too. Hey, what's up? How you doing? It's been a long time since I've seen you around here. Hey, Gary, do you have anything new worth checking out? Please, it's all worth checking out, kid. I don't sell the good stuff, so why'd you come? Chit chat or business? Some chit chat. What's new around here? Well, lots of stuff happened. First, last night's lightning store, that was crazy. Old John's bar took a, hit, took a hit. My partner Wyatt had a huge power outage in the arcade, too. And Kevin stopped by earlier. Who's winging out about, I don't know what, something he saw at the lake. <clears throat> what happened at the restaurant? Some serious mess. It got struck by lightning. Brutal, and because I didn't have power all night. Old John says that all the meat spoiled and there were some problems in the storeroom. Although I don't think that's totally the lightning's fault, if you catch my, my drift. If you see you were luckier than your partner, yeah, poor White had trouble with the lightning storm too. The arcade's fuse box conked out. He better find somebody to help him fix her, or we'll lose a ton of money. You can't leave that clumsy guy alone. Which I already fixed it, so. Did you say Kevin was here? Yeah, he was here on the way to that secret base you have in the woods. I like your style, dude. Secret base is rad. Don't get sidetracked. Where's Kevin? I told you! In the treehouse! Go due north and you'll get there. Thanks. I think that's all, Gary. See you later, dude. 10 Age Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. The color of these tables is different. Rumor has it Gary's secret secret den. I wonder if hey hands off that Duh, I mean those posters. Look there, don't touch that. So that means yes. He has a secret. Alright, so Big Joe is, is supposedly somewhere back here. Hey, there's Big Joe. You coming to the treehouse? His stupid brother snuck into the woods again and says he's found something he wants to show us. Cool, let's go before... Oh. Don't move a muscle, young man. You're not going anywhere until you finish helping me unload and put these boxes away. But, um, but nothing, not until you finish helping me. Sorry, boys, but that's the way it has to be. This lazy oaf has spent the entire morning trying to get out of work. No worries, Miss Carter. We understand. We'll wait here until Big Joe finishes, and then we can all go together. You see, I wish you were as obedient as Matthew. Thanks, Matt. Next time, shut your trap. Yes, Mom. I'll finish up right away. I won't be long, guys. This big guy is all brute force. Never underestimate the power of a good smack, in addition to his ability to move heavy objects. So I guess this is my way of saying... Oh, okay, I gotta... It's one of these. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to. You have to hold down the B button. Of course, I could have known that if I went and saw the... You know... The billboard there. Okay, all done. Can I go? You see, there was no need for all that fussing. Yes, you can go. Have a good day, boys, and don't stay out late. Maybe I want to stay out. Oh, okay, so he can't jump. Alright. Let's see. Okay. Interesting. I am here. So four is the school. But where is uh, the other person that I need? Ooh, what are you? Oh, I can't get to you, but there's a health... There's a treasure chest up there. Interesting. Director, hey guys, what's going on here? I thought school would be the last place kids would be during summer vacation. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why I'm... Why I'm here. I don't, I, I, like, it looks like I skipped over somebody, though, you know, but I, I don't know, it, it, the way these games are, you'll, you'll run into pretty much everybody, regardless of which way you go. Yep, oh, bad dudes, it's Prince, Quincy Queen, well, 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 what do we have here, boys? Crap, it's Quincy Queen. Let's get out of here, Chris. 
where are you guys where are you running off to so quickly? Oh, it's just Chris. T -t -t -t. Well, when you learn, when will you learn, Hot Shot? I thought you were cool. What do you hang around with these losers? Who you call losers, bro? You guys, dipshit. You don't speak to Quincy Queen again unless Quincy Queen speaks to you first. You gotta be kidding me. Job, Big J. We don't want to spend any more time here than we have to. That's right. You don't want to spend. You don't want to be around me longer than you have to. Wait. What? Very funny. Nice sense of humor. You've got yourself there. It's me. It's me that doesn't want to be around losers like you. Listen, Chris. Drop these dickheads and join us. Tagunga royalty. The baddest. The toughest guys in town. With me, Quincy Queen is your leader. Nothing will stand in our way. Think about it. The town at our feet. Us as their king and queen. Ew, I'll pass. Thanks anyway. You gross me out a bit. Gross you out? Well, I'll be damned. Honestly, I'm heartbroken. Fine. Have it your way. This was your last chance to join us. You're either with Quincy Queen or against him. Boys, teach them a lesson. What? Laters, losers. Enjoy the hospitality of Purple Skulls. I'll catch you later. Whoa. Uh -oh. Yeah, you didn't like that, did you? Stupid Quincy Queen, always annoying everybody. He's such a nuisance. He thinks he owns this town. Yes, but from now on, we'll have to be careful with the Purple Skulls. That sounded like an ultimatum. Yeah, we'll have to keep a lookout. Let's head over to pick Charlie up. Kevin has been waiting for ages. Okay, so where do we... I guess we go to Caravan Park? Using R, you'll be able to dodge enemy attacks. Enemies can't hurt you when using this move. Come on, try it. Ha <laughs> ha! I already learned that move. Oh, I wanted to go ahead and save. <laughs> Cletus? Aren't you Jimmy? Chester's boy? Uh, no, yes you are. How how could you not be? Your mama is Walda. Raise niece. Ed's brother, God darn it. Got the wrong guy, man. What do you mean? Isn't Amber your sister? No. Nope. I'll be darned. Who have I been sweet talking this entire time? She ain't your sister. I told you, Cletus. You were sweet talking Buck's mayor. You're useless as tits on a bull. Jim the Second. <laughs> you're new around here, right? You don't look like you have a clue what you're doing. Ha! We don't have a clue? See it for yourself. We stuck it to the Purple Skulls before we got here. No need for the hard guy act here, kid. If I say you're worthless, you're worthless. That's it. That's that. If I had anything about yourselves, we wouldn't be talking right now. What's more, things wouldn't be very different. I'm a fight manager. I can't lose my precious time on a bunch of skinny runs like you. Well, skinny for the most part. I don't know what you're trying to say. So where's Charlie? Charlie, you home? Home? It's more like, you got a problem with her house? No, 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 not at all. I was just going to say that it's technically a form of transport because it has wheels. But it doesn't matter. I didn't say a word, big guy. Charlie, it's me, Chris, and the guys, of course. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Quiet, you'll wake up my dad. Is he drunk again? When isn't he? Since my mom left, it's the only thing he does. He's lucky I'm here. He had not even fried egg by himself. <sighs> Never mind. Wait there. I'm on my way. <laughs> All done. So, where to? Christopher, get that sausage away from me or I'll kill you. Where am I? Oh, yeah. What the hell is going on? What do you think you're off to, Charlene? Dad, that's enough. I'm going out with my friends for a while. You're not going anywhere. What if something happens to you? Who will clean this pigsty? Nothing is going to happen to me. I can take care of myself better than you can, for sure. Stop with the wisecracks. My house, my rules, and you're not leaving me like your mother. I can tell you that right now. Not my mother. <sighs> Look, stay put. I'll be back to make lunch. Don't worry, Mr. Baker. We'll take, kid. We'll take care of your daughter. She'll be fine. Ha 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 ha! We'll take care of your daughter. Who is this little brat? Defend Charlie? Get out of my sight, squirt. And why is your hair blue? 
What happened? Did you dunk your head in a bucket of ammonia? It's enough, Dad. This is Chris. That's Matt. And you already know Big Joe. What's up, Mr. C? You should ease up on the whiskey or, you might right hook, or your right hook will fail you. My mom says there's nothing better than a glass of cognac. What'd your mom know? It'll never fail me. Yours will if you don't keep practicing. So this is Chris, huh? This is Chris. Huh, Charlie? That Chris? Let's see what you're made of. If you want to take my little princess out, you'll have to show me you know how to defend yourself. What do you mean, sir? Ha, what I mean is I want to see a show. And while you're at it, you can show me that nothing is going to happen to my little girl because she's not heading out with a bunch of wussies. You can count on that. So what do you have me do? Charlie will be fine with me. I mean, with us, of course. That's right. You know that Charlie has always been a sister to me. Nobody will defend her better than I will. What are you guys talking about? I don't need anyone to defend me. Don't pay any attention to him, Dad. I can take care of myself. I'll show you that you're leaving your daughter in good hands. I can't wait to see this. Wait until I tell the guys. Does that mean I gotta fight her dad? Oh yeah, I guess so. And on this side of the ring, from the fancy part of Tagunda, and to amuse me and my neighbors, we have Blondie, Blue Top, and Butterfist. Hey, take it easy. This got a bit out of control. And on the other side, we have Rob, Chickenhead, and someone else, and Cletus, the son of Melanie. Although nobody knows who his pa is. You ready for your initiation to become a man boy? Haha, <laughs> you know how it is. If you want to take my daughter with you, you'll have to beat all your opponents. Let's do this. Leave them to me. This will be over in the blink of an eye with my ray. Then we can get out of here. Alright. Oh. Alright, so that's kind of what I have to do. Is just... Each kid has to basically beat. Alright. Bloop. Using their abilities. Wow, that was close. I'm exhausted. Oh, I can't take anymore. What? But the fun has just begun. You can't go anywhere yet. Let the second assault start. you got to be kidding me. Don't worry. Leave them to me. Look, Charlie, I've been working out this year. Whatever I have to put up with. Oh. Alright, those guys went down pretty quick. Haha! <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, that wasn't bad, but trouble always comes in threes. What? There's more? This time, leave it to me. You're shattered. No, I can do it. I'm fine. Anyway, Charlie is watching. Honestly, let me take care of this. That redneck is going to knock you out. Ah, uh, fine. Oh. Oh yeah, he hits like a brick. <laughs> Hard. Boo, come on, give it all you've got. This time you will be beaten. Ah, that's it, I can't take it anymore. You'll see. This temperamental girl is not daunted by anyone. Her jump rope whip and athletic build are unrivaled. Charlie is not one to give second chances. All right then. Oh. Oh, she has like a. Okay. Oh, and she can like run. Satisfied? I don't need anybody to defend me. Let's go. I'm out of here. And what are you guys looking at? Something wrong? No, no, nothing at all. Everything's fine. Okay, let's go. And that's for you. Stay out of trouble. All right, little lady. Your old man just wanted to have a little fun. Don't be late. There are strange things out there in the woods. So, the treehouse? Yeah, we can take the shortcut behind your house. House. Did I hear something? Must have been the wind. All right, so she moves a lot quicker by dashing. But yeah, it uses up a lot of... Uh, Stamina, it looks like. Guys, I'm sorry about before. Sometimes a drink gets to my dad and he loses it like that. Don't worry, Charlie. It was amusing. Ha 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 ha. No need to act all tough. Chris, they nearly whooped our asses. Well, I just wanted to calm things down. Yeah, okay. Anyway, what does your brother want? You still haven't told us. He's right. I thought you'd come because of last night's lightning storm. No. It's because of my brother. He snuck out again. He says he's found something he wants to show us. 
I don't know if it has something to do with the storm, but he's really excited about it. I hope he didn't creep out overnight. Did you guys see the storm? Yeah, it looked like the sky is split in two. I couldn't sleep all night. Those things freak me out. Don't be so superstitious, Biggie. I'm sure it was just a summer storm. I'm not so sure. Did you see the color of the lightning? That wasn't normal. Let's change topics. Don't tell me you're going to shit your pants over a storm. What? I'll show you. Uh, what's that smell? Biggie? Pfft, let's get out of here. Ha <laughs> ha who's shitting themselves now? That totally stinks. You're disgusting, Big Joe. Let's get out of here. I still can't, like, get anything. Like, I can't pick up anything. That's what sucks. Another hot dog vendor. Man, there's the forest. Alright. Into the forest for the treehouse we go. Alright, yep. It looks like we've got some climbing to do. Oh, that's a... That's an enemy. Ah, I, I, I hit him. That looks like a like something I can climb, but I guess I can't. Okay, it's whatever. Is that where I'm supposed to go, or up here? Is There we go. Aw, no secrets? No secrets. Oh. Charlie can catapult herself by using two supports like these. Hold LT to thrust. When the bar indicator is making the green area, press A once to launch yourself. If you fail, you'll fall down. Stop pressing LT to cancel the launch. Alright, uh, but there's like a... Yeah, see? You've received a new VHS film. Check the collections in your inventory to find out more. Trek Wars 6, Spock's Return. Is that, is that it? Yeah, I guess so. But like, what do they do? Because you can't do anything with them. All you can do is just kind of look at them. Right. Ah, and I failed. And she dies. There we go. The treehouse was their secret hut. The only place where they could do everything they wanted. What did they do? Well, good stuff. It's about time. I've been waiting all morning. What the hell have you guys been doing? If I said nothing much, I'd be lying, Squirt. Anyway, what do you want? What is all this fuss about? Not here. Come inside. It's top secret. Come on, man. We've had a tough morning. You're going to freak out when I tell you. Come on, last one in the rotten land. What the last one is a rotten egg. Your brother's crazy. Alright, well, I mean, yeah, he is kind of crazy. Kevin's BMX, the tires are muddy. How do you manage to get here on bike? I'm too big for things like this. You're too big for breaking boxes. Hoo-hoo! All right, let's see what this is all about. Oh, well, it's Cowabunga. Ah, 
How did everybody get here before I did? <clears throat> what are you doing? I'm counting the number of times your brother has taken us on one of his senseless adventures. Today had better be interesting for a change. You better believe it, you're going to shit your pants, Matty boy. That's what I'm talking about. He gets too excited about everything. He has no filter. Well, that's normal. He's younger than us. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt this time. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Hey, I didn't get around to asking you. What is that game of thing you're working on? That machine looked pretty dangerous. Well, it's difficult to explain, but I think of it as a... It, think, uh, but I think that if I concentrate the power in gamma rays correctly, I could obtain clean and safe energy that could be put to different uses. I never imagined it could be dangerous. Wow, and we could use them to give ourselves superpowers like in comics? I don't think so, but at best we'd go green and numb. Its energy is very abrasive. Alright. Let's, uh, let's just go see what, uh, what he has to say. Finally, bro. I was worried. Hey, don't sneak off like that again. Mom gets really worried, you know, and then I get told off. Boo-hoo. My big brother worried about me. What is this? Armageddon? Are you some zombie? Didn't eat your brains on the way over here? It's enough, squirt. Like I said, if something happens to you, I'll be the one to get it in the air. Okay, now, down to business. Do you want to know what I found this morning, or would you prefer to keep playing dollhouses with these wooses? Hey, I heard you. How rude. Ha 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 ha, you called, he called you wussies. So, do you want to know what I found this morning? Go on. Okay, so what is it you want to show us? Finally, come over here. You're not going to believe it when I tell you. Obviously not, because you're not telling nobody. Okay, so what is it you want to show us, Kevin? You have me on the edge of my seat, man. <laughs> you're not going to believe this. You're going to freak out when I tell you. Come on, Squirt, give it up already and just tell us. Okay, okay, so I was over at the lake this morning doing some wheelies on my bike. Mama's gonna kill you when I tell her. Don't interrupt me, idiot! What I was saying, what was I saying? So I was doing a wheelie when I had to stop because there was a trunk near the shore. A guy was sleeping on top of it. I wanted to get the hell out of there in case he shouted at me. But he wasn't moving. The guy wasn't moving. He was dead. No lie. Honest to God, there's a dead guy at the lake. What? A dead guy? That's scary, dude. And what's a dead guy doing at the lake in my... Oh, my God. Spooky, right? You have to see this. It's amazing and disgusting. Hey, guys. I don't think it's a good idea. A dead person is a source of infection. And what if the police are looking for him? What if we get into trouble? Don't be a chicken, Matt. We have to see this. Even if, even if from far away. Yeah, at least from far away. Okay, if you guys insist, but it has to be our secret. Who knows what trouble we might get ourselves into? You have my word. Our secret. I'm already in enough trouble as it is, but this is worth it. I'd scare you shit. Okay, so, where is it? Is it close? Yeah, it's really close. I can almost smell it. Ew, it's the path that runs to the left as soon as you leave the treehouse. I hope you won't regret this, Squirt. Think about it. It's like one of those paranormal activity films. Who knows? Maybe we'll solve super famous mystery. I love how they put in paranormal activity films, but it's 1980s. They weren't made until much later. Yeah, don't get carried away. Don't be so hard on your brother. He's little. Yeah, okay. I'll try. Whoa, Charlie, you should come out with us more often. All right, Kevin Williams. This little troublemaker is full of surprises. His tiresome jokes and hyperactive nature are occasionally as powerful as bombs. All right. I don't know exactly what he does. He does jump. Doesn't seem to actually like do any sort of attacks though. So let's see what we've got. Yeah, see he doesn't he doesn't actually do anything. Let's see what we got here now. Oh! Some items can be stored and used whenever you want. Press the... Uh, just like it in SY to use it. Remember that the item can only be used by the current active character. Oh. Sugo Heart Candy. I guess that's basically the... Um, the life up item in this game. 
More spiders. Got some health back though. And rats. Alright, let's see what's going on. Oh, who are these guys? <clears throat> Looks like those damn purple skulls are everywhere we go today. But where have these two skinny runts crawled out from? Shut up, they're going to see us. Wait until the boss sees this. He's going to promote me for sure. Okay, listen. You wait here and I'll go tell Quincy Queen. And we can show him. I could even pretend like I killed him. That would be so cool. I'd be the baddest of the purple skulls. Listen, maybe best if you go tell him and I'll wait for you here, okay? What? No way! Who's there? It wasn't me, I swear. It was dead when I got here. What a pair of babies. I was the one to discover the dead guy. Ah, it's just you guys. You scared me. What's up? Get out of here. This is our path. And we do what we like here. Oh yeah, and what if I don't? I'll make you. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Okay, okay. I don't think this is your patch. Oh, oh, big boy coming to the defense. You guys are scum. What? You're the scum? I didn't know they set the bar so low to get in the purple skulls. Hey, it's enough, big guy. I don't know what you meant by that, but you better take it back now. What Big J means is that you've got no reason to be here. Now get out of here before the police arrive. Police? What do you mean police? That's right, the police. You guys choose either leave now or wait for them to arrive. Uh, let's get out of here, but not because you guys say so, but because we want to. We do whatever we want. We're hard guys, you know what I mean? Uh. Rim shot. <clears throat> That's it. Run away, rat bags. Kevin, you need to, need to ease up on the sugar. It makes you violent. <laughs> Never. I love the smell of waffles in the morning. Okay, shall we get going? Where's the dead guy? Over here. Let's go. Shit, I don't know whether I can get used to this. But, Kevin, you are awful. You can't fight. <clears throat> okay. I mean, there's... Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Secrets. Now, when I first um, saw this game, I thought it was really going to be... Oh, that must be the dead guy. Like an actual, like, RPG RPG and not like an action RPG. I was hoping for, like, an actual RPG RPG because I like those. But, well, I mean... It is what it is. <clears throat> ah! Wow, you aren't lying, Kevin. There's a first time for everything. See, I told you, it's... It's amazing. Is he... Is he dead? Like, really dead? It looks that way. And it looks like he's been there for a while. Based on his skin color, I'd say no more than a day. Although the level of decomposition is pretty high. <clears throat> he looks like a mummy. I can't... <clears throat> Biggie, get it all out, big guy. There's no way this thing can get any grosser now. Kevin, are you okay, Big Joe? Yeah, I'm better. Well, I'm sorry, I hope I didn't splash you guys. Don't worry about it. There was no way I was getting out of having a bath this week anyway. It's not like I'd imagined. That was a person. Best not to think about it. I told you all, you were going to freak out. We just became real men, even you, Charlene. Very funny. The only reason you're not getting a smack is because you're Chris's brother. Hmm, thanks. Don't start drooling now, man. What are you on about? Hey, sorry to interrupt, but do you see that? The dead guy has some kind of amulet in his hand. Let's take a look. It's true, it's a bright pink color. I bet it's worth millions. Should we steal it? Okay, let's not get carried away, but yeah, we could take it. Technically, it's not stealing. He is already dead. Yeah, it's more like looting, which is not the same. So, should we take it? Chris? Bro? Chris? Chris? Okay, guys, let's do this. Bum bum bum!
Wow, what's that? I have no idea, but I've got a bad feeling about this place. It looks like an Egyptian pyramid. But what material is that? It's just some, some kind of special power. Just like I said, it's a jewel. I bet it belonged to one of those mega famous pharaohs. Now we're going to sell it and get rich. Just imagine, the richest people in the world. I don't think that's going to happen. To start off with, it was obviously stolen. You're right, they'll probably put us in jail or worse. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But you're right, we can't tell anybody. Just in case, who knows what we, get, what we could get ourselves into. Right, everybody? Definitely, bro. Yes. Oh, farewell, infinite wealth, world fame. Don't be so cynical. What about if we take this stone to my house and run a couple of experiments on it? That way we'll know what we're dealing with. Cool, let's go to your lab and run a couple of experiments. That way we can find out what the hell it is. Let's go then. Are we going to fast travel back or are they going to make me run through the forest? That stone would change their lives forever. Aha, fast travel. Okay, I've been, I've been investigating and the truth is I don't know what element or elements this stone is made of. You don't mean it's from outer space, right? I don't know. So what, Matt? Don't tell me we've been here for hours for nothing. Not at all. You see, I've made a few educated guesses. There is no scientific basis to them, but just because we can't explain something accurately doesn't mean it isn't possible. Right. So what do you think? We've been here all day. Hmm. Okay. Get ready. Boring. We can, get de we can deduce that this is something completely new, either an experiment or a discovery, which means it is a secret. Oh, this just got interesting. <clears throat> the problem is that I've not been able to find any information about it anywhere. On my dad's computer, I've accessed the government's research department to look up for classified information, and there is nothing there. What I mean is, it's a massive secret, so this does not leave the room, agreed? You bet. We can't tell anybody about this. We would definitely get in trouble. So you have no idea where it came from. Oh yes. This is where it gets interesting. The light the stone emits is attributable to the energy it consumes. And if you don't have power sources close by, it can drain you of your life. Seriously? Hey God, I've not touched that thing. Maybe it would drain you of your spare tires, fatty. <laughs> Very funny, four eyes. So that thing feeds off energy. Is it a light bulb or something? Something like that. I think it's a type of key or portal. Portal to what? <clears throat> this is where it gets a bit crazy. I've been studying Egyptian symbols and I can't get past the similarities with the legend of the Duat. What legend is that? The Duat is a space in which souls wait for Judgment Day to pass into the afterlife or to be destroyed by beasts from the underworld. And this stone can drain you of your life. Are you saying that stone is capable of transporting you to another dimension? I know it sounds ridiculous, but I think so. That's way cool. What are we going to do with it? Maybe if I use my knowledge of gamma rays, we could create a power source that is big enough for it not to drain the life from us. And maybe we can use it to see how it works. And do you have the material to do that here? I think so. A gamma bar should do the job. A what bar? A gamma bar. I can't remember where I left the last one. Look for it in my lab and bring it to me. I can't have gotten that far away. I'll find it. Boop, 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 doo -doo. I found them. The gamma, gar gamma bars are here. Combustible material with a nuclear power of 1.21 gigawatts. We all know what that's a relation to. into a tape deck. Wow, careful. Do you see what I see? What? I can't see anything. What's wrong, Chris? What can you see? Matt, you're a little genius. I can see cavemen. Just there. It's a machine. It's as if I can see spirits. <clears throat> Let me see. Oh my god, this is quite possibly one of the biggest discoveries in history. Holy crap, you mean using that thing we can see another dimension full of ghosts? 
More or less, it's amazing. Imagine the possibilities. Reunite with your loved ones. Learn more about extinct cultures. Stare death in the face. Eternal life? That artifact could be dangerous in the wrong hands. The consequences could be pretty bad. We have to go. We we have got to be careful. We shouldn't misuse it. Hey, why don't we use it to find Sparky? That's a good idea. That way we can find out more about the Duot and how to interact with them. Okay, but first let's try it out here. Who knows what we might come across out there. Okay, so that means we need to go to the backyard and maybe we'll find Sparky in the backyard. Oh. Hello. Major Orus. Alright. How can this be happening? What do you mean you haven't found the scientist? This is the last time you've let me down. Heartless. <laughs> oh, you deserved that. Bronson, will you bring me that stone everybody else? You know what to do. If you let me down, you know what will happen to you. Be cautious and discreet. I don't want to see the government taking interest in our plans. Yes, sir. About our little agreement. We'll get to that. Now get out there. I want that stone returned to me immediately. But, sir, you should have given this mission to me. You know that I can be more persuasive than Bronson. Heartless, who the hell do you think you are talking to your superior without his consent? Sorry, sir. Uh, get out of my sight, you little wretch. When I need you, I'll call for you. For the time being, we can't raise any eyebrows, and your methods are quite unorthodox. Yes, sir. At your service, sir. I need that damn Duot stone. Sir, be careful with your mood swings. Stress is not good in your condition. I need that stone, Spiegelman. If it had not been... If it had not been for that deserter in your team, our plan would almost be ready. Don't worry, sir. I'm sure that traitor McKittrick will be dead by now. You know better than anybody how much harm the Duot Stone could do to whoever has it. Yes, I trust that Bronson will do a good job. The one-day war must not be delayed any further. I wholeheartedly agree, sir. I wholeheartedly agree. <laughs> womp womp womp. Foratic. Devolver Digital. Bringing you... 80's Extravaganza. Crossing Souls. That's right. Wow, this machine completely changes our perception of the world. Are you telling me you've always been surrounded by ghosts? Even, even, even when we go to the bathroom? Ew, gross. It's as if our reality takes place in a world parallel to the spirit world. The Duat lets us see that other world. So... If we have the Duat, they can see us too, right? Not only that, but it might allow us to interact with them. And what are we waiting for? I want to meet some ghosts and have an adventure. Hold your horses, Kevin. Let's go step by step. We don't know how dangerous it can be. Boo. Oh, I know. We have to go see Sparky. I get to finally see Sparky again. Sparky? Yeah, he's our dog. Well, he was. He got hit by a car. So? What do you say? Let's go. Please, let's go see Sparky. That's not a bad idea. If we look for your dog, we can see how the machine works and if we can really interact with the spirits. And what about those cavemen? What if we find some ghosts that want to hurt us? Don't be a chicken, Biggie. I'm sure we'll be fine. So, what do you suggest? Let's check out the backyard and look for Sparky. He's probably in his house. Okay, let's check out the backyard. Maybe Sparky is there. Duot machine. Homemade ultra-low frequency electromagnetic field detector and connector capable of interacting with the afterlife. Alright, but I think I'm going to end this here, guys. There's a save point right here waiting on me. Uh, if you've liked this this playthrough and want to see more of this game, please be sure to leave a comment uh, and let me know. 
and hopefully I will play it. I have other games that I try to need to get caught back up on for some of you guys that have been watching. But if you did enjoy it, let me know what you thought. And I'll keep playing. Hopefully there will be more games to come soon. But remember, always be kind to each other, and I will see you in the next video.